Hi there, and welcome to another short web snippet brought to you by the guys here at Innova Systems. My name is Matthew, and this time I'm just going to have a quick chat to you about using the symmetry check tool. Okay, what we've got here first is a bottle. So it's a pretty simple shape, but obviously when designing plastic moldings and things like this, especially for models that are designed for symmetry, it's always useful for us to be able to check and make sure that we have got that symmetry in our design. So here you can see we've got a fairly simple set of sketches which have been used to define the profile of the bottle. And all of the sketches are symmetric about planes in the X, Y and the Z, Y directions. But one thing that I do see quite a lot here is that when using the loft tool, we can sometimes have our selections in the wrong place or we may have dragged a handle off in the wrong place because the loft tool is quite an organic tool. So if we come in and use the tools and symmetry check, you'll see we've got a number of options. First of all, we can use a manual face check. And what this allows us to do is grab a plane so here I'm just going to start off by grabbing the right plane and just click check. And what it's going to do is analyze our model and tell us whether it is symmetric or what faces are symmetric about that plane that we've selected. So here we've got 12 symmetric faces but you'll notice we've got one big symmetric face and that's this selected face here highlighted in yellow. So that face is not symmetric about that plane, which is unusual because we would expect it to be. So perhaps we have got our loft wrong. If I click recheck, we can go again and instead select this time the front plane. So if I click check again, we can have a look. And again, you'll see that that loft hasn't come out symmetric about those two planes. And so we might have to go back and readjust or perhaps even uh, construct our model as a quarter and use the mirror tool to make sure that we are getting exact symmetry. Another example we've got here is a pipe. So here we can see we've got a nice uh, joint set up here and we've been analyzing our flow results so we've been looking at optimizing our design and making sure that our flow is exactly how we want it. So let's just have a look at these results and you can see perhaps this is exactly what we're after. So we've been tweaking our geometry and trying to make sure that it is suitable. But now we want to have a look at the stress results. So let's unload these results, bring our geometry back on and I've got another configuration set up with just that joint in. Now I might look at that and say well it looks fairly symmetric about that YZ plane. So maybe I'm going to cut that. Well, there is one way to double check and cut it all in one. And again, coming into the symmetry check tool, if instead we select the automatic symmetry split, you see the system has analyzed our geometry and said, yes, it is symmetric about one plane and you can split it. So if I select split part here, it's going to automatically generate those cut planes and split our model in half. So we can then come in, generate our new FEA study and simply apply our symmetry fixtures on these faces that have been split. And it's as easy as that, and we can cut our solve times in half. Okay, that's about all I've got time for this time, so thank you for joining me. And as always, if you want to get in touch, you can do so by dropping by our website, which is www.innova-systems.co.uk. You can drop us an email at support at innova-systems.co.uk or you can give us a call on the number you see on your screen now.